All right, YouTube 116 Falconer here. <coughs> um, I got to reshoot this video. I, Sunday, I was at uh, Harbor Freight Sunday morning. I, they had these uh, Thunderbolt Magnum solar battery chargers for $12.99. So I bought one because uh, my truck has, uh, there's something draining the battery in there. Um, and truck, I hadn't ran it since uh, like the end of May. And this is the, uh, actually today's election day, so the 8th of November. Um, so I bought this to try it out to see if it would keep my truck battery charged. Well, my truck was absolutely dead. All right, the battery, I was able to get it started, get the truck moved reparked then the battery was shot um, so this I had, I had left my uh, my little uh, one and a half amp trickle charger on there for a couple days on the truck and it was just it didn't even have nothing in it so I got my uh, Everstar jump pack out was able to jump the truck get it moved shut it off and then the battery's just back to stone dead um, this freaking thing actually works man you, you'll have to watch the video i don't know what the hell happened to the to the original first couple of videos i made they just kind of disappeared off my computer so uh, the one thing about this okay it comes with uh with clips here so you can clip directly onto a battery all right um and it also comes with a cigarette lighter adapter, all right, which is what I've been using. I mean, I've used them both. So um, I've just been leaving this on my dashboard. Uh, I, it got up to where I was putting out like 23 volts. Um, and then this morning I checked it out at like 10 to 7, and it was still, you know, it was not very bright out. And plus my windows were all frosted up on the truck and it was still putting out two and a half volts um, there's supposed to be according to directions a blue led indicator right here you can see it on the box better it's supposed to be right there so you can see if the you know if the unit's functioning but you can see this one does not have an led anywhere on it so i uh tried it out with my multimeter make sure it's putting out voltage it does um, but we'll get on with the video now so this but this freaking thing works man so enjoy the video okay let's try it with the fluke here I'll see if I can just use like that that or I'll put the alligator clips on okay so let's see what okay DC volts see that Twenty two point seven zero. Well, let me uh, get the battery out of my truck. First, we'll try to start the truck here. Let's see what's going to happen. I'll see if there's any any kick in it at all. Just a second. Not a thing. So let me get the battery out. We'll be back. 
All right, I got it hooked up, so let's see. Uh, let's see what the battery, how many, how many volts there are in this. Ten point seven. Okay, basically 11. 11 volts. Of course, we know volts don't start vehicles. So, I'm going to let that run today. It's supposed to be sunny all day. I wish it, I wish it had the LED light. It would be kind of nice to, you know, to actually see it operating. But we'll see what happens here. Um, if I don't get enough... Uh, juice to bump the truck by the time the sun goes down then uh, tomorrow I'll jump the truck with the uh, with the Everstart and then let it run for a little bit and then hook this up to the cigarette lighter and see if it'll maintain a, a charge there so all right we'll be back all right so we're back here the battery's been charging for about five hours at one point it got up to 11.89 volts and then the voltage started dropping and now it's down to 11.52 um, volts. I'll try to show you here. Well, we're at 11.5. I don't know if you can see that. 11.5 volts. The... Uh, the uh, solar panel is in the shade now, so we'll see what the output is there. All right, so we're down to 16, 16 volts in the shade. I think without that blue LED or without the LED on there, you have no idea what this thing's doing. Um, it really should have the LED so you know if it's functioning or not. So, we'll put the battery in. We'll see if we got any amps at all. Oh, the other thing too is, is uh, when this was charging, I went online there. I put in the volts. It was putting out 22 volts. I'll be back. All right, I'm back here. Got interrupted for a minute. All right, so earlier when I was doing 22 volts, okay, the output from the solar charger, um, and it's listed at 1.5 watts. So there's a calculator online. You can look up how many amps it's actually putting out, and it's putting out like 0 .07 amps. So, uh, you know, take that for what you will. I don't know if this thing is, you know, like I say, without a light on there, knowing if it's actually having a positive charge, I don't know if it's drawing from the battery. Like I say, this got up to 11.89 volts, but we're going to put it in a truck and see if it, it if it's going to do anything. So we'll be back. All right, I got the battery back in the truck. Let's see if it'll even bump.
Okay, so nothing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in the cigarette lighter, let it sit overnight, although when the sun goes down, I don't know if it's going to draw more power, but we'll plug it in there and uh, see what happens. All right, so I have the uh, panel on the dashboard plugged into the cigarette lighter, so let's take a reading right now. So we're looking at do you see okay so we're at uh, hook up to the truck we're down to 10.62 I don't know if you can see that or not let's see here Oh shit! Damn it! Ah, oh, my probe. I gotta fix it. Ten point six one now. So I'll show you here. See, I have it up here on my dash plugged into the cigarette lighter so we'll take a reading tomorrow morning and see what we're at so all right YouTube so it's the next morning uh, let's take a look at what our battery voltage is now Huh. We're at 12.63 volts. So somehow overnight, we gained 2 volts. That's weird. Maybe have leaving that solar thing plugged into the cigarette lighter, although I don't know how that would work because, you know... It only had a few minutes of sun on that dashboard yesterday for the, uh, for the, um, well, let me see if she'll bump over. Let's, let's check this out. She's still dead, so I'm going to jump it with the jump pack. Let me unplug that uh, thing from the cigarette lighter. I'll jump it, let it run for like a half an hour, shut it down, and by then the sun should be hitting that solar charger. All right, let's uh, let's get the jump pack fired up here. I got a red light. I don't have green light yet. There we go, green light. Let's fire her up here. It's gonna take a few times. Oof. 
That battery is like dead. <laughs> Let that sit for a minute. Let's give it a second here. Hey, red light. Tell me my jump pack's gonna malfunction. He's fully charged. Well, we're going to have to give it a minute here. I'll be back. Okay, I think the battery is absolutely shot because now... If we hook the uh, multimeter up, we're like at no volts. <laughs> Look at that. Point zero zero one. All right, I'm gonna have to break out the big guns here. See if I can get this battery to charge up. Uh, if not, then I guess I'm gonna be looking for a new battery. So I'll be back. Okay, so I got her going on a 20 amp charge for now. Um, we'll let that run for a little bit. And Try to fire her up here. I'll be back. <coughs> All right, YouTube. So, still trying to figure out if this solar charger works or not. Apparently, the battery in my truck is just like pretty much shot. I have it on auto charge now on the big charger. Um, it's starting to gain. We're at uh, 3.9 volts, um, so it's going to be a while. But with this, with this uh, solar charger, I'm trying to determine if the thing actually freaking works or not. Um, if I take my, my multimeter, stick it on volts. Right now the solar panel is like half in the shade, half out. I have the cigarette plug adapter. So if I run that, we're at 18.34 volts. All right, coming out. Now if I put it all the way in the shade, stick that in the shade, we're at 13.9 in the shade. Let me see if I can black it out just to make sure because I don't know. It's obviously not going to keep a bad battery working. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to take the I'm gonna take the directions and stick it on top of the on top of the. Uh, 
top of the panel. Alright, so with the directions on top of the panel, so it's covering up the solar cells, we're at three basically three volts. Um, so I mean it is putting out voltage. Now the funny thing is that uh, well we'll take this out and let's run it in direct sunlight. Alright, we're all the way in the sunlight here. see the multimeter or not. Alright, so right now the angle I have it on is it's 23.7 volts. That's in the face in the sun right there, direct sun. Try it again just to make sure it wasn't an anomaly. Yep. 23.75. So it is outputting voltage. Alright. <coughs> I'll show you. I went. To an online calculator to figure out amps and you know I unfortunately did not you know pay enough attention to math to uh, oh to to be able to figure out these equations but if we look here at this online calculator and now this is assuming that this putting out 1.5 watts alright I don't know yet how to determine that but if we put in the 1.5 and we enter our volts we'll say 23 volts So according to this, we're putting out 0 .065 amps. I don't know if that's the output or the draw. I, I don't know. Um, but if we put 1.5 watts, and then we'll say what, when it's covered up at 3 volts, According to that, there's a half an amp. So it's it's blowing my mind, man. You know, um, obviously the solar panel is putting stuff out, putting voltage out. The amp thing is is just like it's it's got me befuddled. So <clears throat> and my battery here in the truck was obviously a bad candidate for for determining um, if the say I mean we know it's putting it's putting volts out it's putting some amps out but is it gonna suit your needs uh, that I don't know I think it's more of a curiosity than anything Alright, I got my camera and a tripod. I'm gonna shut it off and see if it will restart.
right, so it's been charged up enough to restart. So let's plug the uh, solar charger in and see if it's going to keep it charged up. But we'll try it tomorrow. Let me plug it in a cigarette lighter. I know that if it'll start tomorrow, then that thing actually does work. Because the battery, she drains out right away. So. And in the meantime, I fixed my uh, probe on my multimeter with my uh, Bondex liquid welder. So, well, let's take a reading on the battery right now. Twelve point thirteen volts. Let's see here. Well, now it's down to twelve point twelve. So we'll see in the morning if this actually will keep this battery charged. As you heard, it restarted with no extra stuff going on there. So we'll see. We'll see you in the morning. All right, YouTube. So this is day three of my uh, trying to see if that solar charger actually works or not. And I got to tell you, it's uh, 10 to 7 in the morning. Still pretty low light. Right now that solar panel is putting out 2.5 volts. Um, I came out, I bumped the truck over and it actually turned over like a charged battery. So I gotta say this thing freaking works, man. Um, let me go, let me see if it'll turn over again. Watch, it probably used all the juice out of the battery. And you know, that's, my windows are all frosted up and stuff, but let's see here. I gotta say that's that's pretty freaking impressive. This freaking thirteen dollar solar charger. I thought for sure I was gonna have to get the charger out and charge that battery up more this morning. Um, so freaking awesome, man! I just wish I had the LED light on there. So maybe I'll call Harbor Freight and see if they have the ones with the LED light on there. But there you go. It freaking works, man. All right, see ya.